Hey guys, Shelly here in the kitchen today and we're gonna be making some crescent roll cheese danishes with some of these uh, pre-rolled crescent rolls that you can buy in the store and some cream cheese, powdered sugar, milk, um, vanilla, just a few ingredients to make a yummy breakfast, dessert, anytime snack. So uh, we'll get right to it. So first we're going to work on the filling of the Danish. We're going to put in one softened package of cream cheese. I just let it sit on the counter overnight and it um, softened up nice by morning. And then the next thing we want to do is put in a teaspoon of vanilla. We're doing a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then a half a cup of regular white sugar. And that's it for the mixture. Then just mix it up all nice so that it's all mixed together nicely. Try to get as many of the lumps out of the cream cheese as you possibly can. Next, you're gonna take your crescent roll tubes and get those open. And then we're going to uh, leave them in the roll and take them out and cut them into slices. I would say about one to one and a half inch slices. I guess it all depends on how thick you want your danishes. If you want them a little more thicker, you'd cut them a little thicker. But as you can see here, it's about an inch, inch and a half that I'm cutting them. Um, there's no, you know, set way to do it unless you, you want to, like I said, make it thicker. I wouldn't go thinner with them, um, but definitely either what I'm doing or a little bit thicker would probably work just fine for them. It also says use parchment paper on your pan. I didn't have any parchment paper, so I just sprayed nonstick uh, spray on them, on them, and it seemed to work really well when I did t end up taking them off. Uh, so I was glad that that worked. I was worried they may stick, but they were, actually did not. Okay, here I'm making a well in the middle of the Danish um, to so that you can put your filling in the middle. So it's kind of you're kind of making a little bowl out of it um, and raise up the sides just a little so the stuff will stay in there. And I'm doing that to all of them so that I can put the filling in. Now you can certainly use whatever that you'd like to make the little bowl in there. I used a spoon. Um, but if you want to use your fingers, or if you have something else that might work better, um, go ahead and use that. But I thought the spoon worked the best, just to kind of hollow it out a little bit. So that's what I used. Okay, and so now I'm adding in the filling, the cream cheese filling. And it's taken, I don't know, I, I think it was about a tablespoon I probably put in there. Um, some of them I went back in and added a little more that I didn't think had enough. Um, and I had just enough, just enough of the filling to fill all of them in nicely. So uh, I thought uh, that worked really good, I was just using a tablespoon to fill that in. So here I've taken two tablespoons of melted butter and added a fourth of a cup of light brown sugar and I'm going to mix that together and brush it on over my danishes. 
And there's Scott pouring a glass of Kentucky Fire whiskey to have a little drink. <laughs> His little cameo of the video. <laughs> So I mix that up nicely and then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush that on over all of my danishes. It's going to go into a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and we'll see how it comes out. Okay guys, these are done as far as being cooked. Look at that. Oh my word. Yummy golden. And that yummy cream cheese stuff in the middle. All right, next we're gonna take our um, powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla mixture, and we're gonna take it and drizzle it. Try to drizzle it, it's pretty thick, so I probably should warm it up a little bit. But, oh my word. These are gonna be good. I can't wait to try them. So they came out of the oven after 15 minutes and I let them cool for, well, I don't know, probably another 10 minutes or so. All right guys, so this one's mine. Mine all mine. It made, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. It made 15 danishes. I don't know what Scott's having, but this is what I'm <laughs> Pastries, I love pastries. Ooh, yummy. Inside. That middle part that's a little bit lighter, like yellowish, that's the cream cheese filling stuff. Okay, I'm going in. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so anyway, I wanna get to the rest, of eat, eating the rest of this. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll leave the, the uh, recipe down uh, below in the description. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today, making these yummy danishes. Uh, so good. So try them and let me know how you like them. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a happy new year. Bye-bye.